All right, um, good morning um, from wherever you're joining. Um, okay, so my name is Biza. Um, I'm the Dana. And thanks for joining um, our event today. Um, we use the next three minutes to just do a bit of introduction um, for those who are already in the meeting. Um, we want to start early and then finish quickly. And we're actually recording the session, so we'll be making the video available later on. So, so as not to waste time, um, you just mention your name and then what you do um, and what your organization does. All right, so um, I think I'll start first. By the way, can everyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. You can go ahead. Okay. Um, so, my name is I'm the tech chapter leader for Ghana. Um, I'm a software developer by, by profession. And then um, I work with an NGO, um, which is STEM Rising Foundation. Um, it's a social enterprise that helps to bridge the gap between the acquisition and application of STEM education. Um, so technically, what we do is we um, engage young people from basic schools and then help them appreciate the science and technology or in mathematics they learn at a basic level and how they're going to apply it in the future in engineering jobs and then um, other tech-related jobs. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, anybody can go next and do an introduction. All right, let me go first. Uh, next, my name is Audrey Odogo. I work with um, Aspire Coronation Trust in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, the organization is a grant making organization and we support um, nonprofits across Africa with funding, but we also capacity building uh, with knowledge and session and master classes and uh, pro bono services to help them build sustainability. Um, with them, I am the partnership and engagement executive and I run the volunteer program we run internally at the organization. I'm also a cervical cancer advocate as well. So I'll be here to get some tips on uh, how to use, use Canva. Thank you. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, Elisha, can you hear me? Okay, then let's just not waste time, let's just um, kick that. So um, this is just going to be more of a practical session than um, a presentation. So um, there's, just a, there's just a brief slide to introduce the, um, the sub, and then we'll go deep into how to use the platform. So it's going to be more um, interactive and more um, practical than um, theory. OK. So um, what we'll be doing basically, um, we'll, be, um, we'll be going through an introduction to using Canva. Um, then we'll do some hands-on design tutorials that learn how to create social media posts, presentations, um, t-shirt designs, and all that. And then there'll be um, an additional tip or office. Um, that's what, um, for instance, what Canva has to offer non profit so um, you realize um, Google offers some discounts on certain products for non-profit. Yeah, Canva also has such packages for non-profit. Yeah, then we'll get to answer our questions and then we'll move forward. All right, so, so basically, um, as I said, um, this is gonna be more practical. So the presentation is just brief 
Um, so Canva is an online design and publishing tool with the mission of empowering everyone in the world to design anything and publish anywhere. So um, graphic designers use it. Um, so mostly nonprofits like us rely on our graphic designers to create our artworks for us. Um, that is where you are calling your designer or your creative designer, you are not getting in touch with him and you need an artwork design, it's gone. So now you can do certain basic design on your own using several different online tools. Um, so, and then Canva is one of them. And the reason why we are talking about Canva is because um, they have, um, or they have passion for free creation, free software. So, um, and they offer an, an engaging package for non-profit, which is very fun and interactive. Um, so, um, so why would you use Canva? Okay, so one, it's an online design platform. So unlike Photoshop, um, Illustrator, that you have to install several gigabytes of um, software on your computer, and then having to get license and all that. Um, with Canva, you don't need to do that. You just go on the web and create your designs online. They are saved online. You can access them anywhere on any device, whether Android, iOS, Mac, Windows. So it, the, why would I use Canva? Because it's online and you don't need any software. To, to, you don't need to install any software. Um, another reason is that Canva is free to use. So um, you can create several designs, several artworks free of charge. You don't have to pay for it. Um, then also you can create anything. So you can create um, your social media posts um, for Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can be able to edit your publicity videos, um, your fundraising videos, whatever you want to do. You can do it on Canva, so you can create virtually anything. You can create your um, your newsletters. You can create your um, timeline. Virtually everything your nonprofit will require in terms of creative design, you can do it within Canva. And you don't really need any graphic design skills, so you don't need to be a graphic designer to be able to do that. And also, the last thing is you don't have to start from scratch. So there are hosts of thousands of already created templates that you can edit and use for your design. So, um, so many have created several different content on Canva that you can use or modify to, um, to create your artwork. So for instance, um, you want to create a social media post or you want to raise one for a project. Um, you don't have to start from scratch. You just go on Canva and search for something similar, then edit it to your logo, your content, and then you are good to go. So when to use Canva? Okay, so um, use Canva for your social media and post, as I said earlier on. So in terms of creating flyers, um, um, anything social media, maybe your graphic design, uh, what, you, what you require a graphic designer to do for you to post on your social media pages, or maybe you have a social media calendar that you, okay, your organization posts on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you can create all those designs inside Canva. And the amazing thing is that you can actually schedule those posts to those platforms within Canva. So um, maybe on Sunday, you can schedule all your social media posts within Canva. Then um, when the time you set it up, Canva automatically posts those artworks on those social media pages that you've um, specified. Then for marketing, okay, so um, as a non-profit, um, one thing that you might require from time to time is brochures, um, then the business cards. When you go for events, you have to give out your organization business card. So you can create your business card and then print it out um, and then save and print it out within Canva. So you don't need to pay up a graphic designer or a creative designer to create a social media um, a graphic design, a business card for you. So within Canva, you can create your own complimentary card and then just edit it. So you can actually either start from your own design or you can just um, use one that someone already has already created. Then you edit it with your information and then print it out. 
So that's a fun thing about Canva. Then you can also be able to create your logos. If your organization doesn't have a logo yet, not for within Canva. Also, you can also be able to create posters, um, photo grades for events that you have um, for um, programs that you organize as a non profit or your fundraising event, whatever you do, you can just do all those marketing stuff within Canva. Then um, one more thing is um, you can use it for creating postcards and then invitation cards. So maybe you're organizing a fundraising event and you want to send out invitations, whether printed or, or e-copies, you can do those um, designs within Canva. Online. And install the desktop or the Android or iOS app, um, which I think is the next thing. So where can I use Canva? So you can use it on your computer. So you can either download it and install the iOS, Android, and then Windows or Mac app, Mac OS app. So there is a, de a desktop version that you can install, which is very lightweight. Um, it's not heavy like how um, Photoshop and then um, Illustrator or um, any other software is. It's actually still on the web, but it's like you have it on your desktop, just like how the WhatsApp web is. Okay, so then you can also use it online. So in this case, you don't have to install any app on your device. You just go into your browser and you visit www.canva.org.com and then you create your creative designs. Okay, so um, as I said, this aspect is going to be very brief because we sort of have more time to um, do some more um, practicals. All right, so um, I'm going to share a different screen. I hope I'm not too fast. Please go ahead. Okay. So let me share a different screen. Okay, so when you go on the website, which is um, kama.org, let me share the link inside the chat. Okay. All right, so um, over here, um, first of all, you'd have to create an account if you don't have an account. Um, so let me log out first. So um, 
and the first, on the first page, you have to actually log in. If that's the first thing I've seen the web, I've seen the website. So when you create an account, then it brings you to your your home page. Um, at, the, at your home page, there, when you go on the template um, tab, you're able to see what you can do. That you can be able to create um, social media. That's Instagram stories, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Facebook covers, um, YouTube channel artworks, then LinkedIn banner. So this one provides specified dimension because when you're uploading the content to Instagram, there's a specified dimension. When you're uploading the content to Facebook, as a Facebook post, there is a specified dimension. So you don't have to worry about the size of what you're posting. You just have to select one of these options. Then, as I said earlier, when you're able to create imitation cards, um, resumes, you can be able to design T-shirts. Then you can be able to generate um, invoices, business letterheads, um, so many things. So you can do virtually everything within Canva. So um, I'm going to take you through the interface first, then we'll move to the design. So um, the first step is where we, where we are, which is our homepage. Then um, we have all your designs. That's where you see all the designs that you've already created in the past. So when I go there, um, you see um, the designs I have created in the past um, over there. So, uh, and then, um, then over here, Canva allows you to collaborate. So um, these are things that have been shared with you. So um, this was shared with me from the text team. So this is what we use for the event. So I can actually use this to create another event. Yeah. So, and then, so if someone shares something with you, um, you see th those things like, just like how you have in your Google Drive where you have shared files, then um, you can also segment things into folders. So um, can you want to create a new folder here? And then maybe if you, have, you do more than one thing, maybe, you have a business on the side that you create designs for, you have your non-profit on the side, and you have your personal um, portfolio that you create designs for, you can actually segment those things into different different folders. Okay, then we have trash can where you can delete, delete people. Then we have teams. So you can be able to create people, you can both collaborate and work on a, the same design with other people. So um, you can add both your, your team, maybe, in your organization, you're another person that designs, or you have, or you have a designer that works with you. So you have to add that designer to the team, or anybody that's working on the design aspect of your organization. So I can go to add more people to my team, and then they send my invitation, and they join the team. They're able to see what is being designed, and they can be able to contribute. Then, um, so that is it. So we go back to our home. So first of all, I will say, okay, let's say you want to create um, an Instagram post. So, and we don't want to start from scratch. So we just select Instagram post. So um, there are a host of already um, created designs. So I can either start from a blank design or I um, pick inspiration from an already existing design. So what we're gonna do now is, I wanna first of all, create one with an already existing design and then um, create one with a blank design. So this actually um, Instagram post. So, um, there are several different designs. You can actually also search here and look for something else. And then, um, so I can look through and see what do I want. Maybe I'm designing something for um, a fundraising, or I'm creating um, a code. So I will just look through and see what already existing design looks good. And these are designs that have been created by other people and are made available for free. Some are premium that you have to buy that in case the person wants to make money from the design you has already placed on the platform. And the amazing thing is that you can also create designs 
and then put them on a platform and make money from it. So uh, that um, I can use to create something. Um, okay, so let's say we are doing a design for Thanksgiving, which was yesterday. Um, so you notice that there are a lot of Thanksgiving um, flyers and then um, Black Friday content. So let's see, I'm looking for, Okay, let's use this. Okay, when you select it, then you can move to customize the template. So you notice that Instagram posts are 80 by 80 pixels. So I customize the template. Then it now adds it to my items, whether or not I edit it. Okay, so when I come here, um, if I like the design the way it is, and I just only want to edit the content, maybe I might want to change the logo. Then when I select the logo, um, I go to upload. Then um, over here, I can go to upload um, pictures from my computer, or I can be able to even search for pictures. So uh, let me see if I can upload something. So, um, okay, I'm gonna share with you where you can get pictures from that um, reality free pictures. Um, one of the sites is Pixel. So over here, can able to get um, nice pictures that you don't have to pay for so they are reality free images so let's see i'm looking for something related to non-profit so can we go to get pictures here and use so th there are thousands of pictures on non-profit work that i can use here so let me select this So let's see. Okay, let's just use something. Okay, let's use this guy. So once I have it downloaded, I can now upload it. Um, into my design. So I can now go to upload. And then upload it this way. um then i look for the file then upload it or better still i can just drag and drop it into my design okay. 
So, so you can actually just drag and drop files into the, the view. So once it's done uploading, I can now drag and drop it to replace the image of the lady here. And there you have it. So once you drag, it replaces that image. And then maybe you want to change the logo. So um, let me see if I can find a logo already for it designed. Um, so let's say I want to replace it with this logo. Actually, it's becoming slow. Okay. So, if I want to, I can actually delete what is already there um, by um, back um, delete, then it goes off. So, you notice like it, it was just more than an image. There was a text before the logo, so it goes off. It goes off. So now I can replace that with what I have there and then resize it. Okay, so that's it. If I like the size, I can and decide, may decide to also resize the game. Okay then it looks like I duplicated it. Then I want to change the text. Um, so maybe I want to use um, a different, okay, let's change the website. Um, so maybe www dot. Soup connect dog. Okay, so that becomes my website. I can drag it to reposition it. Then um, our social media handle will be. Connect. So resize position it properly. Okay. So then um, maybe I'm creating a quote of uh, of someone. Then uh, maybe um, let's pick a quote from. Um, So I can just copy this and then replace it with my what I have here. So 
So if you want to um, paste and maintain the exact, yeah, um, okay. exact formatting, you um you would have to use um control and and v or if you're using a macbook you have to use command sheet and v so that's the code and then um that's Okay, let's see, let's maybe not let's see. Then um, maybe you want to change the um, where he said it or what she said when she, when she said it or who she is or whatever. So yeah, so that's it. And then um, you can change several different things like this, for instance. Um, you can actually be able to change the colors to match your brand. So if um, automatically once you've placed in your logo there it takes the color theme of your logo so you can see the color theme of the logo and then the dress the person is wearing it automatically picks the color theme so you don't have to now go and look for your logo color theme so you can just actually pick them here and then replace them with what is already there control z so yeah, so that um creating designs from already existing designs. Um another approach will be so after you are done, um let's let me show you how you save it. So you can either save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF, SVG, or whatever you want you have the liberty to and i said something like you can schedule this to save um to share on your um social media page so if you link your facebook page with your canva account you can schedule this post tomorrow at a particular time um so i would just want to download this and save it on my computer so So save, then I might have to rename it something else. Let's say so. so. Yeah, so that's it as a PNG folder, an image that I can share on social media um so let's see what we have received there is the image that we saved so I can open that. Okay, the next thing will be to create a design from scratch. So maybe you have a design concept you've seen somewhere that you want to duplicate in Canva. So that means I'm gonna be starting with So I'm gonna close this. And then go back to the top and then a blank Instagram post. Okay. So um, in creating the design, just like in Photoshop, you need 
um, element that um, shapes to um, to income here you can have access to several um, whether you need a, um, a rectangle um, there are graphics that you can um, you can use photos you can embed videos in your design and you can even add audio into your designs so um, let's say um, we are creating um, a design with an overlay so um, okay to make things simple let's look at a design here that we can also duplicate uh, let's look for something okay this looks a bit simpler okay so let's see want to duplicate this particular design so um you notice that we have um a rectangle here a rectangle here and then an image so i'm going to go back and then um, I have my right angle here. So um, I will change the size as a dimension to what I prefer. And then add another one. Okay, then um, then maybe you remember that you want to you want to add one behind the whole cam um, canvas. So um, um, so this now needs to go behind. So I right click on it. So that's it goes behind now. Then I want to change the color. So when you select the color picker, then you're able to select which color you want to use on that. Um, so let's say you want to use this color and then we move here. Then um, okay. Yeah, so we have the old design was the first one, so it's still behind. You can, I mean, this guy can still go back. So now let's change this color. Okay, let's just use the blue here. Let's use the blue here. And then this is where our image goes. This is where our image goes. And then, um, so let's go, uh, let's go, let's go, we are look, looking at. Um, uh, um, this. this. And then. Then you can be able to add your text. So you can add your own custom text, or if you see something here that you feel works better for you, you can just include it. Um, earlier on, I said some of the des um, designs are pro, meaning you'd have to um, pay for this. So, meaning Whoever did this will make money when you buy it. So you also can 
be able to create your own designs and then put it on Canva for people to see and then use and buy. So let me use this heading first. So when you select the place, you can actually resize it, increase the fonts, reduce the fonts. Let's make it. Okay, so let's say you want something like this this is my first design okay, so let's see this what you want to and maybe when, once you do that, you can be able to change the color, the alignment, uh, both in the change the font. So if you want to change the font of this text, I can I'll come on this tab, then it opens from the font. So I can be able to change the font here. Um, mostly these are the fonts I normally use. So then your font is loaded. Okay, if I want to make it bold, I do that. I want to increase the font size, I do that. Then um, I can, um, if I want to bring in my image, then um, I can now go back to my uploads and look for an image. And look for an image. Um, if I don't have an image that I need, I'll have to go and down. Earlier, which is, um, I'm going to show you two of the slides that you can get free images from. Um, I've, the first one I already said was pixels, and then the second one is on Splash. So, with these two websites, you can get free images that you can use in your designs. So over here to uh, let's say I'm looking for a picture related to um, non profit So let's see this person works. Then I can actually download the image and then add it to my design. Okay, so done with that. Um, I can now bring that image in. You notice that I mistakenly click on something or so my design is gone. It's actually saved up to the version where I got to. So if it's to refresh back. Or I'm to go back. So let's say I'm going, uh, maybe I've lost my design because I went to a different page. Um, I just have to go back home.
and look at my to use it. So as you work, it saves your way once you have a very stable internet connection. So it saves your way. So um, when you lose your internet connection, you can still come back and so you can actually work on a design and come back and finish up what you're doing. Okay, so let's just add this, then um, we'll go to the final part of this um, session. We have just a few minutes more to. Okay, so um, I bring in the picture. So it uploads. So once you place the image there, or you drag and drop it there, it uploads it into your design. So maybe I want to paste this. Okay. So. Okay, then uh, once I place my next one stable, but once I place it on it, I can be able to resize it um, to fit what I want to do. And another thing is that you can actually um, set this particular image as your background. So when you move, when you right click on the image, um, you set it to background. That's as the last thing. So now that image is now the background. So if you want to see the image, that means you'd have to um, make this, reduce the transparency of this one, then your image begins to show. Yeah. Then um, you can able to import your social media icons. Um, once website I can get free social media icons, again will be last icon um, I'll be sharing these links in the uh, chat box soon so show me the icons and download them um, so let's see I'm looking for Facebook icon Yeah, so uh, I, over here, I can go to the I prefer. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm to use something like this guy. Um, I downloaded. So just like the same way you imported um, the images, you now import the icons and add it to your design. So one, okay. Um, okay, already have an, a Facebook icon on my computer. So, so I go back to my design. And then um, we have those icons here that I can, I, I can use directly. So I just um, add them to my design, then resize them. Yeah, so I resize. I add more if I want, I need in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So it's basically easy to create your own design inside Canva. Um, it's already 11 p.m., 11 a.m. So I add um, Twitter, Instagram, and then um, add a handle. 
So let's say I want to to I drag it here, I resize it. If the display looks too small, you can actually zoom in and then do your resizing properly and then you can zoom back out. Yeah, so then uh, maybe you want to add a text. So once you click on the heading, it places it on your design, then you can now come back and position it. You can also drag and drop it. So I select everything and then reduce the font size to let's say 16, which looks too small. And I increase the font size a bit. Okay, so now I can align this properly. Then add this to it. You can actually reposition them to make sure you have enough the exact same speed between the test. And then come out automatically helps you do that. So That's it. And then you can change the color of this text to say white. And that's it. Then you can change the text itself to let's say text soup. Yeah. Then, so let's see, this is what we wanted to create. And then let's change this. This doesn't look nice. Let's change something else. Yeah. And let's change our text. Okay, so yeah, so that's what it takes to, um, designs inside Canva. Um, so you just have to have a design concept or create my existing design. You don't need um, any graphic design skills to do to do this. Um, the last aspect of the presentation will be um, um, the tips um so um let me come back here so canva um offers you um as a non-profit um as a non-profit canva offers you um a free version so you don't have to pay for the full version so you get a full version for free as a non-profit yeah, so you get a pro version for free as a non profit. So I'm going to show you how to get the pro version of the Canva as a non profit. So let's go. So we have what we call Canva for non profit. So if you have a non profit business or you're a non profit and you are duly registered in your city or your country or legally registered in your country, you are eligible to receive um, the pro version for free. So let me show you that as the last thing. Um, so,
Okay, let me share this link on the website on the what of So I'm sharing the, I'm sharing a link. Um when you visit that website that link, um you can be able to subscribe for the Canva for non profit package. Um uh, so share screen. Let me go back to that screen. Um let me share my entire screen. So let me get easier. Okay, so on that link, which I shared on um, group now, on the chat now, um, so Canva actually offers you, um, so the design still made with non profit in mind. So discover the easy way to create high impact social media graphics, marketing material. So you get a premium version for free. So it's not like um, what someone will pay for as a non-profit to get for free. So you just need to apply. Um, so meaning you can do more uh, or have more flexibility um, using Canva. So you get the, the premium version. You can get to use everything on the Canva for free. So... Um, Okay, so one thing that the free version limit is that you can you can be able to create logos, they can download transparent versions of your design. That like in case the background should be transparent, you can be able to do that. But with the um the very the pro version you can be able to do that. So once you get um so you are saying that our camera for non profit program gives registered non profit social impact and public health organization our premium Canva Pro features completely free for up to 10 members. So that means you can go to, once you are verified, you can go to add um, 10 people within your organization to use it. So um, add your name, your information, your organization name, um, they'll ask some questions um, about your organization, what you do and all that in the next page. And yeah. So once you apply, they review your application, if your organization is eligible, then you can um, go to get the subscription. So we have the, so before that, you can check the eligibility criteria to see whether your organization is eligible for it. So see the um, eligibility criteria that your organization needs to be registered, so registered non profit um, So with a social impact organization with a mission consistent with a public or community benefit. So, and basically most organizations, what they do have public and community benefits. Um, then the third one is public health organizations um, and government entities assisting um, with public health. So, um, the requirement, so the document they require depends based on your um, where you are coming from. So you just have to find your country, um, and then okay, let's say I'm in Ghana. Um, what they need is certificate of NGO registration from the registered department. Your article articles and um, let's say somewhere like. Um, Nigeria. So, I just required your certificate of NGO registration. Memorandum of association. Just uh, um, so you just have to look for your country and see what's required to. And yeah, so that is it. So, uh, so let me now share the link. So that's um, the link to get the free images in the second one. Um, and then the last is where you can be able to get free
Okay, so um, I think that rounds off our brief presentation for today. And um, if you have any questions, you can just ask. You know, we'll see if we can access. And you have any or you have any contribution to make? Um, it's a community event, so you can just share your contributions. Um, any questions or contributions? To ask, there are some people who have done, is it kind of like a newsletter um, or, um, or like a web page with Canva? How do they go about that? Okay, so. Um... Okay, you can actually do virtually everything inside Canva, as I said. Share my screen, so let me just go to the page. Uh, new as well. Um, um, so these are these letters. And the marketing. So you can actually start, as I said earlier, we can start from an design, or if you have a concept in mind, or you think someone's design wants to duplicate, then you can do that. So these are the newsletters. So um, there are already there are towns of already existing design, something that's in line with your design, or you want to create something new. So let's say I want to use this because it looks a bit like um, shop. Um, so, my the template. Or if you have a concept and you want to duplicate, then you can start from a blank design. So every um, newsletter have dimension. So you don't have to really specify dimension. You just have to just um, use an you um, edit it. So actually, can actually resize that. If you don't, if you want a different size, so you can actually resize um, the document. So this is actually a newsletter. Then I can now come and edit it if this is what I want. So yeah, your question. Yeah. So virtually can do anything inside Canva. Um, I actually work with um, a, a lady um, who has a non-profit. Um, they do child protection, child online protection, child online Africa Foundation. And then for her social media stuff, she does everything herself. So what I do for her is basically her website stuff. She handles all her social media stuff. She does it. She does her own designs. And it's a woman with tips and then handles a, a non-profit. Because she said um, sometimes her graphic designers don't have time for her. So she has a verified Canva account that she can do virtually anything, design logos, design newsletters, um, design flyers for her own events and everything. So this kind of um, releases you from depending solely on your graphic design unless you need something more complex and complicated. To, to tell you, the more you practice, the more you become perfect. So you can just always come around and play around. And then, um, so you can actually install the desktop app on your, on your PC. Uh, this is the desktop app. Um, so yeah, this is the desktop app. Um, so, it once I log in, it has every design already up on the web. So you can have it on your phone, 
your Windows PC, your MacBook PC, or your iOS phone. So you can do designs on the go. You can be anywhere and then be able to create a newsletter and then email it. I think we've done a presentation um, already on email um, previously. Um, yeah. Um, any other questions? Any other contributions? Um, okay, I think I don't um Elisha and then um us, um if they can just share something with us. Um their names and then what they do. Um and if you're having issues um send on um you can just post in the comments and I'll help with that. I'm sure that might be the um, obstacle. Okay, I think Mohammed Mike is working. Um, okay, any other questions and contributions? So we run off and we run off in five minutes. I think I'm fine. Thank you so much. Well, desire. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I would have loved to hear from Elisha and Mohammed, um, but we don't know what that might be. So let me see. Okay, um, I can't hear you because you're not talking. Um, if your mic is working, so if you speak, I can hear you. All right, so thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we'll be making a recording available um, after we wrap up the event. Um, it's 
Bye for now.